During the Second World War, there were many countries who collaborated with Nazi Germany. Some of these helped them militarily, financially and also by providing them with weapons, supplies and other necessities for their war effort. Hungary joined the Axis alliance and at the time they were heavily reliant on the fascist Italy and also the Germans to help the country deal with the repercussions felt by the Great Depression. But during the fighting of the conflict, it's estimated that around 300,000 Hungarian soldiers were killed and over 600,000 Hungarian civilians were killed which included 400,000 Jews. Most of them were transported to extermination camps such as Auschwitz, but Hungary fought alongside the Germans during many battles, including Operation Barbarossa, and during this time there was a significant number of political changes in the country. One man who briefly acted as the Prime Minister of Hungary was Bela Imredi, who after the conflict was executed for collaborating with the Nazis and also for war crimes. So join us today as we look at the vengeful execution of Bela Imredi, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Bela Imredi was born on the 29th of December 1891 in Budapest, within the Kingdom of Hungary. At this time the country was allied with Austria, forming the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's assumed he had a normal upbringing. His family were strong Catholics, and when he was old enough he then went on to study law at university. After his studies he then obtained a job inside of the Hungarian Ministry of Finance and this was seen as a rather prestigious organisation. Whilst here he rose throughout the ranks and became known for being a gifted financier but in 1928 he became the director of the Hungarian National Bank. This was a very high profile position and saw him overseeing the key decisions involved in the running of the largest bank in Hungary. His skills and knowledge of the economy caused him to get noticed by the government and in 1932, he was then appointed as a Minister of Finance. His boss ultimately was the fascist Prime Minister, Jula Gombos. Gombos was active in international affairs, and he was keen to pursue trade deals with the European markets, as the Great Depression had hit and caused a significant impact on the economy of Hungary. He himself liaised with Benito Mussolini with regards to treaties, and he was also the first foreign head of government to meet with Adolf Hitler after he became Chancellor. He and Hitler together signed a major trade agreement in the hope to reduce the huge amount of unemployment in Hungary caused by the Great Depression. Imredi's boss ultimately was seen by Hitler as too pro-Jewish and Hitler did not like his plans to expand the Hungarian army and military. But Imredi served as the Minister of Finance for three years and he then became the President of the Hungarian National Bank, placing him at the very top of the banking system in the country. Imredi himself was a very ambitious man and he was known to have been a supporter of the right wing and was very vocal in his right wing views. He was also pro-British and he supported alliances between Hungary and Britain and because of this, under the later Prime Minister, Kármán Daranyi, he became the Minister of Economic Coordination, a position made to help him try to improve the finances of Hungary. But within two years, Imredi himself would hold the most powerful position inside of the country. In 1938, Daranyi resigned and Imredi was appointed the Prime Minister. He began to improve the diplomatic relations with the United Kingdom, which made him disliked by Hitler and Mussolini. He was aware that the Germans were planning to annex Austria, but because of Hungary's links to Italy and Germany, he knew he could not alienate the two or offend them both by allying closely with the UK. His policy with regards to the European powers then shifted to being one way he supported Nazi Germany and also fascist Italy and he began to suppress his rivals and establish a strong Hungarian right-wing government. One rival party that was suppressed was the Arrow Cross Party who were harassed by Imredi's organisation and supporters and then eventually were banned and outlawed, similarly to how Hitler outlawed communist parties and suppressed them. Also other influential fascists were harassed but Imredi continued heading towards the far right. He planned that the government should have become one that was reorganised with the idea of totalitarianism and he began to draft and bring in laws that limited freedom of the press. Also in Reddy, brought in a number of laws that punished Jews and caused them to suffer great economic penalties and sanctions. It was clear he was drifting towards Nazism and Germany's right wing and in February 1939 his opponents presented evidence to the regent of Hungary 
Miklos Herfi, which was damning for Inredi. They had discovered evidence that Inredi was in fact from Jewish descent, and that his great-grandfather was Jewish, but when the regent confronted Inredi about this, he did not deny anything. Because of this, and the fact he was outright persecuting Jews in his country, despite him being of Jewish origin, he was forced to resign on the 13th of February 1939. But as the Second World War broke out, the Hungarians allied themselves with Nazi Germany and, as mentioned before, joined the Axis alliance. The country's military fought with the Germans on mostly the eastern fronts and they were involved in annexing parts of Yugoslavia too. They did not initially take part in Operation Barbarossa as Hitler did not directly ask for their assistance but Hungary later declared war on the Soviets before being used in the operation. The Hungarian government were involved in turning over their Jews to be killed in mass murder, and the soldiers themselves were involved in massacring Serbian and Jewish hostages. During the Battle of Stalingrad, the Hungarian Second Army suffered terrible losses, and the repression for the Jews continued within Hungary, with many being sent to their deaths in the Holocaust. Inredi was part of the Hungarian army following his resignation, and he also founded the pro-fascist, anti-Semitic party of Hungarian renewal but the Germans later occupied Hungary and the region was held under house arrest. Inredi was favoured by the German plenipotentiary Edmund Wessenmayer to become the Prime Minister, but Regent Horfi could not accept this and another man was appointed. In the new government, Inredi became the Minister of Economic Coordination yet again briefly, but within four months he had resigned. The Germans eventually were driven out of Hungary as the Second World War massively turned against them and the Soviets advanced. The German army were on the retreat back to their homeland, and as the Soviets entered Hungary, Bellerin Rady was arrested. He was then later placed on trial, which began on the 14th of November 1945. In Rady's trial was held in the Budapest Academy of Music, and he was charged with being responsible in enacting Hungary's anti-Jewish legislation between 1938 and 1939, in which caused huge suffering and persecution. He was also charged with being in cooperation with Hitler's Third Reich and also for war crimes. He was found guilty of these charges and was then sentenced to death. On the 28th of February 1946, Bellerin Rady was told he was going to die that day. He was held inside a cell in a prison found in Marco Street in Budapest and was then led out from his cell into a courtyard. He was not to be hanged and instead would face his death being shot by a firing squad. A collection of soldiers had been gathered inside of the prison courtyard and gathered around were a number of members of the military and also staff from the prison. Bellerin Rady was told to stand opposite his firing squad who were armed with rifles and up against some sandbags to prevent ricochets. The firing squad were told to prepare themselves and they raised their rifles at rather close range towards him Rady. He had been given a white handkerchief which shielded his eyes and was loosely tied around his head. When the officer in charge gave the call, all of the soldiers shot straight into him, and they could hardly miss as it was very close range, and Inredi was killed instantly. Bella Inredi was the Prime Minister of Hungary for just a short time, but he was heavily involved in publishing laws that caused much suffering and exclusion. He was involved heavily in the financial system within Hungary, but ultimately was declared a war criminal after the Second World War for his collaboration with the Nazis. He saw them as a leaning post to help the Hungarian economy, but the innocent people of Hungary did suffer greatly, with hundreds of thousands of Jews being sent to death camps within the Third Reich and being murdered in barbaric ways. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.